we don't contend earnestly for the faith. If we live anyhow, carelessly, and the Lord comes like a thief in the night, it means that we will be left behind. And the Lord does not want any of his child to be left behind. That's why he is giving us this information ahead. Verse number 2 of the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. For you ourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so come as a thief in the night. Verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them in travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. You are not in darkness. Once you are born again, once you have said, Jesus, come into my heart, you are not in darkness, that that day should overcome you as a thief. That day should not overcome any of us as a thief in the night. That's why the Lord is using this platform as a voice of proclaiming his return so that the children of God will be ready for the rapture. So that none of us will be found wanting. I, I want you to understand, as we are talking about contending for the faith, as we are talking about the end of time, the Lord wants us to understand that we are living in perilous times. We are living in perilous times. And because we are living in perilous times, we have to be very, very careful. There are a lot of things that are happening already and more that will be happening because of the time we live in. Because of the time we are living in such a way that if you are not strong in your faith, you can even fall by the wayside. That's why the Bible says we are not in darkness. That that day should be taking us on our ways, or that day should overcome us as a thief comet in the night. Let's go to the book of First Thessalonians. I know uh, First Timothy chapter four. Just join with me a little bit. We are almost getting to the end. First. Timothy, the book of Timothy, first epistle of Timothy, chapter 4. I'm going to read verse uh, 1 to 2. First Timothy, chapter 4, verse number 1 to 2. Now the Spirit of the Lord speaketh expressly that in the lighter days, in the later times, some shall depart from the faith. We need to contend. Some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with hot iron. Beloved, we are living in the end of time, and the Spirit of the Lord is speaking expressly how we have to walk as wise and not as fools in our generation. You know, there are a lot of things that our generation is allowing that God says, no, my children, don't put your hands here. Don't do this. If you do this, I am not going to go with you. Just like the Lord warned the children of Israel, that if sin is among them, he will not go with them. Even if they carry the act of the covenant of the Lord to battle, they will lose that battle. We saw that in the book of uh, Joshua, when the children of Israel fought a small country known as Ai. They went to Ai, living in sin, not knowing that the Lord was not with them and they were slain. They fled before this people. They came back to Joshua, saying, Joshua, look at the situation of war. AI, a small city, they have killed a lot of us. And Joshua inquired of the Lord. And the Lord said, Israel has sinned against the Lord. When we contend earnestly for the faith, one thing 
that the enemy wants to use to pull us down to make sure we lose the war because contending for the faith is warfare every day you are in war the lord told joshua israel has sinned israel has taken the accosting what i told them not to do they have done that it took time for joshua who was the leader of the children of israel to walk with the Lord, for the Lord to reveal Achan, the culprit, the one who sinned against the Lord, who went and took the accosting of the Babylonians. And he was caught and punished accordingly before sin was removed from the camp. And then God said, okay, if you go back again to battle, you will win. And the Lord had the children of Israel after they must have dealt first with sin. They dealt with sin and they went again to fight the battle and they succeeded and they took eye. Sin is one of the things that the enemy brings across our ways, trying to pull us down as we are contending, as we are defending our faith in Christ. The Lord has said that many will fall by the wayside. Are you going to be one of them? The Bible says we are not of them that draw away back. We are of them that go into the saving of the soul. Our prayer will be, Lord, we need the Holy Spirit. Lord, we need your fresh oil. We need your fresh anointing so that we will not fall by the wayside, so that we will not compromise our faith. We want to contend. What belongs to us is our spiritual inheritance. Salvation in Christ Jesus is our spiritual inheritance. We cannot give it all.